Michael, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Thank you very much, Richard. Let's start with a little bit about yourself, your role, and the nature of your business. So basically, I'm Michael, I'm Regional Sales Director in the Bilstein Group since, since 13 years now. Okay. Um, yeah, what's the nature of our business? Bilstein Group um, is a family-owned German company, which is, let's say, run in the seventh generation now. Okay, well established. So yeah, actually, with the brands, Phoebe, Swag and Blueprint, today we cover more than 55,000 different automotive spare parts for the independent aftermarket. Okay, so obviously you're at Auto Mechanica Dubai. What are the core, or sorry, with the main markets that you are focusing on within this region? And where do you see the opportunities? So when we talk about target markets, basically, it's the independent automotive aftermarket. So we are not basically an OE supplier. So, um, and the workshops which are working in the independent aftermarket, where the region is concerned, of course, we are serving the world today. We serve more than 160 countries um, in the world. Um, and we operate from our warehouse in Germany, but we have 23 subsidiaries worldwide, wow. including uh, an office in Dubai yeah. since a few years. Okay, excellent. So I suppose, you know, something that's been going on in Dubai over the last couple of years has been a little bit of a slowdown in the market. And people have been looking for other growth opportunities, whether it's regionally or Africa or Asia. For you guys as a group, have you experienced um, a slowdown in your business or are you diversifying in terms of where you're looking at in terms of where the opportunities are in different markets? So, of course, when we look to the Middle East and Africa as well, yeah. but more to the Middle East, we ha had to experience also a slowdown in our business over the last years. Uh, but moreover, we have seen a certain trend towards uh, cheaper products, mm -hmm. inferior quality, and this is quite a challenge. Yeah. At the end of the day, um, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, there's missing uh, purchasing power in car drivers, in workshops, in fleet owners. And uh, yeah, so when the markets are not growing, we have to help the markets to grow. And actually we do this with our regional teams. And of course, training workshops, uh, make them a little bit more independent from the car industry and yeah, build awareness for our brands over there. And when you are looking at penetrating a new market, what's the process behind that? When you decide, let's say you're, you want to enter X market, how do you go about raising that brand awareness or um, looking for partners or distribution agents within there? Um, yeah, that's a difficult story because uh, we are trading in the Middle East since many, many years, maybe 50, 60 years. Mm -hmm. um, and our brand, Phoebe especially, uh, has been established for uh, a long time. But uh, basically we um, made the decision 10 years ago to go away from the typical uh, agencies uh, which have made our business over, the, over many years. Uh, today we are building up regional teams to serve all distribution levels. So we are not talking about the wholesale importer who distribute the parts out of big warehouses here. We basically also visit uh, the workshops and the retail distributors because um, we need to raise the brand awareness over there. And there are different things to do. Um, we try to do it by conveying technical competence and of course um, transferring the value of um, our brands and this is a family-owned medium-sized organization a little bit more flexible than big industries especially where changing environments are concerned um, of course as a producer since 1844 mm -hmm. we are looking on uh, quality and constant level of qualities uh, another asset is of course the, the massive uh, range we uh, offer today we are considered the number one in the independent automotive af aftermarket today. So basically, yeah, it's crossing over the key values yeah. uh, of the brand. And at the end, um, business is made by people and uh, we believe uh, we have the right ones in our teams, right. of course. Uh, we are quite proud about that. Um, yeah, and uh, our customers very much uh, are grateful for the partnerships we serve. And I just, there's something I want to pick up on because you mentioned quality. Um, it's, it's obviously a big focus for your company. At the same time, you did say that there is a, a little bit of a transition in the market where it's become a bit more price sensitive and people are leaning exactly, towards yes. exactly. cheaper products. H how are you guys uh, managing that and how are you guys setting yourselves apart um, mm -hmm. as being more of a premium 
product, having more premium products versus the, the cheaper uh, goods that are on the market? Um, so at the end of the day, as I said, um, we are in the industry since 1844. Of course, at that time, metal processing, not automotive spare parts, but we do, uh, we're building uh, our brand and reputation uh, over the last 60 years. Um, so basically, we are considered as a reliable and a predictable partner in the industry and uh, that's basically our key value. So um, quali product quality is an important issue, especially in a region which is not um, protected by legislation like consumer protection we know from Europe. So we have to cross over other values. So it's not only just the liability of a product, which is basically quite uh, fragile here, I would say it's other values like partnerships, constant quality, um, and uh, the possibility for our partners to make business and make money uh, with our products. Where do you see the opportunities coming in the next couple of years? So the market is not growing. Um, uh, basically, we uh, are not too optimistic that there will be a fast improvement um, of the economic situation, especially on the truck segment, uh, which is a part of our exhibition here as well. Um, little investments in infrastructure and so we have to stimulate the markets ourselves. Of course, we have to take business away from the car manufacturers. We have to bring more cars into the independent workshops. That's how we have to generate uh, the business. Um, we cannot rely just on a growing market. That's not the case, unfortunately. Absolutely. Do you see then any changes, let's say, from a technology point of view that's having an impact on the market? You know, one of the big topics that we have here at Auto Mechanica this year is um, electric vehicles as part of our innovation zone. Yeah. And people are being Im impacted on that by different ways, whether it's educating their workforce, educating workshops, um, changes in products. How is that impacting your business or is it going to have a major impact? Of course, it will have a major impact, um, but um, not in the same time as it hits now the car industry and its OE suppliers. Of course, um, we are a producer and uh, we um, have to be in mind that the markets will change and maybe change faster in Europe, in the US, in other places than it will change here in the Middle East. On the other hand, of course, we have a huge basket of products which are almost covering any kind of a car. Uh, today, um, so we do not expect that our business will uh, move away quickly. Yeah. Um, nevertheless, we are doing a lot of measures internally, but also with our worldwide partners mm -hmm. to cope with the technical changes, whether this is e-mobility, the e-call, or also the autonomous driving. Okay, absolutely. I have one final question for you then. Auto Mechanica, the next three days, mm -hmm. what are you hoping to get out of it? So Auto Mechanica Dubai has always been an important place to be. So it is among, let's say, the top three exhibitions worldwide. For us, um, uh, actually, we haven't missed any uh, exhibition over the last 10 years. So we exhibit it all the time in a row. Um, it has a fixed place in our marketing calendar and our marketing strategy. So um, actually, we have observed already today quite a good number of participants, also interested people, we're not just our customers, so, um, but, uh, and we were in the position to convey a lot of messages we want to cross over. So of course, we would like to see more participants, um, yeah, more workshops also here on, uh, on the place. That's definitely one of our targets. Okay, excellent. Michael, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you Thanks very much, much. Thank, Thank you. you.